Have you heard about an artificial sun? Like a human-made sun that can generate power. China has made it. It's quite a feat. China's artificial sun has broken a world record. It's been able to produce power by fusion for a full seven minutes. Fusion is the joining of two atoms. When they combine, they produce a lot of energy. And this is the energy that powers the sun and stars. Now it's been created in a Chinese lab. And they're not, only the, not the only ones rather working on it. Fusion power can change the world. It may sound like science fiction, but it's being developed as we speak. Our next report tells you more. It seems the world is revolving around artificial suns. From scientists to movie enthusiasts, people can't stop talking about them. Do you remember Dr. Octopus from Spider-Man? He created an artificial sun, but when it got out of control, so did he. Hopefully, real-life artificial suns won't be creating any supervillains. In fact, they might be the hero we've been waiting for. So what is an artificial sun? It's a huge machine which is capable of creating huge amounts of power. It takes hot plasma, which is a blazing combination of gases, and further heats it up to above 100 million degrees Celsius. To give you a rough idea, that's 10 times hotter than the core of the sun. This kind of heat is held in for as long as possible. That's when loads of energy is released. Hopefully, one day scientists will be able to harness it. And we'll get to why that's important. But first, let's talk about a new feat in this technology. China has broken a record. More specifically, the Experimental Advanced Superconducting Tokamak, or EAST, has. It was able to confine the super-hot plasma and keep its power high and stable for a whopping 403 seconds. That's about seven minutes. It's quite the task, about four times the previous record of 101 seconds. This record was also held by China. It was set in 2017. So now, not only have previous records been shattered, the world has gotten close to making fusion reactors even better. They use the same science as what happens on the sun, and it can give immense amounts of energy. Fusion is taking two um, small atoms and, and putting them together. And um, in terms of the practicality of building a, a power plant, you know, fusion has a number of advantages. It, it's much more inherently safe. Fusion power is safe and clean. It doesn't produce radioactive byproducts. It doesn't even have harmful carbon emissions. It's also a near limitless energy source. So it can help us move away from fossil fuels. The materials used to make it are in abundance on Earth. So, so fusion is one of those technologies which, if it could be harnessed, could be scaled up rapidly you know, to be deployed worldwide by 2050 and, and could make a very big difference to, climate, uh, to, to carbon emissions and therefore to climate change from 2050 onwards. So this is clearly an exciting time for green energy. That's why many artificial suns are being tinkered with. I think this is a very exciting time. Um, you know, people have been working on, on fusion for many decades. Um, you know, there's uh, many milestones that are being reported in the last few years. Last year, South Korea created an artificial sun. The world is also building its biggest artificial sun in France, with inputs from India, China, US, Europe, Japan, Russia, and South Korea. It's reportedly the most expensive science project of all time. The world is collectively working towards fusion energy. This welcomes huge possibilities. And fusion experts say it won't be long before the world gets its unlimited source of energy.